Hi everybody, it's Miss Maggie from the Johnson City Library. I wanted to read you a book about my favorite bug. I understand you're studying bugs. Do you have a favorite bug? Oh, well this one is called Busy Buzzers. And it's a story about all the wonderful things that bees do. Don't you, did you know that bees love flowers? Ooh, I love them too, don't you? They smell so good. They come in all different colors. But wait, wait, don't get your hand too close. There's a bee there. Oh, don't worry. Bees won't sting you as long as you don't bother it. Why do you think there are so many bees in the flower garden? It's because the flowers are lunch for bees. Bees drink the nectar, which is the sweet liquid found in flowers. Okay, now we have a new word, nectar. As they eat, bees some, do something good for the plants too. Look very closely. You can see that the bees' legs are covered with a yellowish powder called pollen that comes from inside the flowers. As the bees spread around, fly around, they spread the pollen from the one flower to another, and that helps the plants make seeds. Did you know that almost all our food has to be pollinated by bees? Look, that there's a beehive inside that tree log. Wow! Did you know that as many as 50,000 bees could live inside there? All the bees have to work together as a team or a colony. The main job the honeybees do is, can you guess it? Okay, they make honey. That's right. You were right. The bees' bodies turn the nectar into honey. Then the bees store the honey in the cells, and it is the food for all the colony. Every bee in the colony has its own job, and the queen bee has the most important job of all. She lays the eggs so there'll be more bees. Can you believe that in one day, she lays between 1,000 to 2,000 eggs every day? Male bees also have their job, which is going out and looking for the hives. But the worker bees... They do everything else. They feed the queen, take care of the young, look for flowers, and bring nectar and pollen back to the hive. <clears throat> look over here. Here's one of the cells. Let's count the sides. Count with me. <coughs> Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. Six sides to each each cell in the colony. Oh, look at this. Bees dance. That, and that's how they talk to each other. If a bee finds some good flowers, it goes back to the hive and flies in the shape of an eight. See that? Eight? See how they're flying there? That's called the waggle dance. And from that dance, the bees can tell where the flowers are, how far away they are, and even how good they are. How about that? Did you know bees danced? Bzzz. Can you make that sound? That's the sound bees make when they make their wings shiver. They're doing that because they're loosening the pollen from their flower from the from the flowers. All right, boys and girls, that's a lovely story about bees. See you next time.